So then guys, we are days away from iPadOS 19, or should I even say iPadOS 26? Well, today I want to give you all the last minute details about iPadOS, what devices are expected to work with the next generation of the software, what features we're going to get, and also when is it going to come available. But first of all, I want to talk to you about the biggest thing I would say is the most important kind of informational leak we've had out there and that's to do with the naming of iPad OS. So that's right, for multiple months we've been expecting the next generation of iPad OS to be called iPad OS 19. But we've had a leak in right here telling us that the likes of say iOS, iPad OS and even Mac OS and Apple TV OS, all of this is going to be updated to the year coming out with the software, or should I say the year after even. So we're talking about 26, so 2026, because obviously the likes of the next generation of iPad OS, iOS and all the others are going to be coming out the end of 2025, and I'll talk about that a little bit later on, but it looks like the naming is going to be named after the following year. So like I said, this will be 2026, and this does kind of make sense, and it makes kind of numbering a little bit more easier to understand where we are on generations and what year, you know, features came out and things like this. But it is looking likely that there is a possibility that iOS and iPadOS, and like I said, all the other ones that were going to be 19, are going to now start with 2026 or 26. So we could actually be getting iPadOS 26 coming out later on this year. And when I say later on this year, you guys are also probably wanting to know, well, when exactly is it going to come out? Well, let me talk about, first of all, the actual betas, first of all, and then we'll talk about the official release when most of you guys will probably download the version of iPad OS, but obviously some of you guys will probably download us in the sort of beta sort of stages. So let's start out then with developer beta. Now, the first developer beta is most likely going to come out on June 9th. Why June 9th? Because this is when WWDC 2025 is going to happen. Now, the, that generation of that software, you know, the first generation, the first version of it, of a developer beta, will probably come out a couple of hours after the event that is being streamed, you know, on June 9th. So this is when it's going to come out. Now, what I would be saying with this, if you actually are using an iPad right now, you've only got one iPad available in your whole household, and, you know, you're doing lots of daily activities, do not download the developer beta onto it. The main reason behind it, it will be full of bugs. That is why it's called developer beta. It's to iron out all the kinks and this is going to be the most probably unstable version out there to begin with. So personally, I would not download it. But just to let you know, guys, know that if you do have, say, another spare iPad, what would be compatible with it, and you don't mind this having bugs and not using it as your daily driver iPad, well then, yeah, maybe you'll be able to test it out on that actual device. Now, after this, we probably will get one or two more developer betas coming out probably throughout June, the beginning of July time, but then the public beta will probably come out around about middle of July time. So we're talking about July 14th. And again, I'm going to say this, probably this beta will be better than the developer one, be more stable. But, you know, if you do have a device and you do want to check it out for the first time, then obviously the public beta might be something a little bit better to actually wait out for. But personally, in my opinion, I'd be waiting out for maybe one or two generations of the public beta to come out first, at least, and then, you know, then get it. So personally, I would say if you want to get a public beta, I'd probably be waiting around sort of early August time or mid-August time, the earliest when I'd actually be installing on my primary device. But this is just my own opinion, so obviously the apps that I use, but if you're using your iPad day in, day out, you may want to wait out for the official launch of iPad OS. And when will that be? Well, most likely it's going to be anywhere between, say, September the 15th to around about September the 22nd. And this is based on history of previous years of when iPad OS has come out, iOS has come out in the past. So this is most likely the sort of target time. We're talking about mid kind of September time when the official version comes out. And this is the one I would say definitely update to because obviously I would say 99% of kind of bugs and problems are going to be ironed out completely. So you should be stable enough to actually download it there. So a couple of months from now, that is when that will be available. 
So with that, we kind of have a timeline of when iPadOS 2026 or iPadOS 26 is going to be coming out, but you probably want to know what devices are going to be compatible with it. Well, the good news is we've been told most likely that the majority of all devices that could run iPadOS 18 will be able to run iPad OS 2026 or iPad OS 26, except for probably the seventh generation iPad. What came out, you know, some years ago now. So we're going to be saying that the iPad eighth generation and new is going to be compatible with this. The iPad Pros that came out in 2018. This is the ones with the A12X inside of it, and also the A12Z that came out a couple of years later. Also, they will be all compatible. And then the iPad Air third generation and onwards there. And then also the iPad mini fifth generation. So that's the current design iPad mini we have right now. What's been out now for two generations. That will also be compatible. And that's probably going to be the main line of iPads that are going to be able to run, you know, the likelihood of the next generation of iPad OS, except for, of course, things to do with Apple intelligence and also kind of other new features that might be introduced this year. Obviously, they might be more reserved for newer iPads out there. So just be aware of that. Something else that you guys need to be made aware of, and that is the giveaway we are doing on this channel for this right here. This here is a MacBook Air in sky blue with an M4 chip in it, and I'm giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And that giveaway will be happening at the end of June time. So it's gonna be this month, and I for one am super excited for this. And the great thing is you can guys can enter in right now. All you have to do at this stage is just put down in the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to get in 2025. Maybe it's gonna be a new iPad, maybe it's gonna be a new MacBook Air, maybe it's gonna be that new Nintendo Switch 2 which just come out, or maybe it's gonna be something else completely different. Put it down into the comments below right now. Now, the other thing what I was gonna say is the second part of the giveaway is gonna be happening near the end of June time where I'll be making a video giving you more details about this MacBook Air and how you guys can get your hands possibly on it. And what I would say is that video is going to be super important because it's going to tell you when I'm going to do the live stream of when I'm going to give away this MacBook Air and it'll also give you details of the form to fill in too. So you won't want to miss out on that video. So make sure if you haven't done so already to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. And plus you want to be a subscriber too because I'm giving away this MacBook Air to a subscriber. Now the last thing I just want to say to you guys is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there there too. People still impersonate me, telling you to WhatsApp, Instagram direct message me, you know, all these sort of bad things like Telegram. Please do ignore these people or best you can see right here. Please do report them. So moving on from this, um, what features are we likely going to see in iPad OS? Well, one of the biggest changes is that iPad OS is finally going to have some big updates to make it feel a bit more like Mac OS. This is what the leaks and rumors have been telling us. So this is fantastic news to hear that we're going to get a better sort of system to actually use with iPad OS, that it won't just be say a modified version of iOS that we've had in the past on the larger screen. It's going to be a bit more like like say Mac OS. What this means to do with apps that are available on Mac OS and ones that are available on iPad OS that are going to be compatible with each other, well we don't know at this stage but we do know that the main interface is going to change to be more compatible like that what is great news. Then we've also been hearing that the likes of iOS, iPad OS and multiple other sort of OS's out there are also going to be updated to reflect the design a bit similar to the versions of say Vision OS. It's kind of a glass effect and also the apps you know they might be a little bit more circular in their design and things like this. We've been hearing this. So this is something else that's super excited to hear about. And then for the third big update we've heard about is a lot of you guys are a bit upset that the likes of say the new iPad Pro like I've got right here with the M4 inside. It was a slimmer design, but the battery life, you know, was kept exactly the same as the previous generation. We slimmed down. But the great news is we've been hearing that it looks like that Apple intelligence can be mixed into battery life to extend it out even further. So this is definitely exciting to hear that battery life could be extended out, not just only on this iPad Pro like I've got right here, but on all of the iPads that are compatible. So yeah, this is really exciting to hear that we're going to be getting probably an extended battery life in using iPad OS. 
And then finally, for the fourth big upgrade, we've also heard that a new app is also coming to the likes of iPadOS, and this is also gonna be coming to the likes of, say, iOS 2, and it's gonna be a new gaming app. Now, this new gaming app, there's a lot of sort of speculation what exactly this is going to be like. Now, a lot of people are thinking, or hoping, it's gonna be something a little bit like Xbox Game kind of center out there, or the Game Pass. So this is the ability that you would be able to use games that are on your iPad, and run them locally on this, but there might also be the ability that you could stream games directly down to your iPad. And this will be really, really cool because obviously that means you could have an older iPad, you don't have to use all the power that's inside of it. And this basically means it'd be streamed from say Apple servers, developers can upload their games and you'd be able to stream directly down to your iPad. And this is gonna be something really cool, especially if you have like an iPad Pro with the OLED display. I am sure this is gonna look absolutely amazing here. But with that, and guys, that is the latest and greatest we've heard for iPad OS 19 or iPad OS 2026, iPad OS 26. Are you excited for this? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.